Hi there. So in this video, we are going to take a look at how to generate battle error log in Go programming language. So you may find that there are many instances where we are writing to the file or creating directory or doing any other system specific job. In such case, you may have to file that error on your file or say on screen. So you can do that in go programming language so let's take a look at how to generate some simple message on our console so first thing let's say i have created this sample.go file in visual studio code you can use any other id or text editor okay so first thing we will simply create main package then we will create main function and inside this main function let's first have one message named let's say before fatal error now after this here you can have your logic for creating that error for example some if else condition where you are reading file etc or you can simply directly use log dot fatal in Okay, this will import log package and here you can type in fatal error example. Okay, so this message along with other system timestamp where it shows date and time will be printed. So we will also have one more message after fatal error. So as you can see, the reason I have added before and after is to differentiate between this log entry along with the others. Okay, so when you are doing the real world example, you will find that you don't have to use this before and after. Because in that case, you will be either getting the output you desire or simply getting this fatal error example message along with the other system details. Okay, now let's open terminal and here let me clear this and now let's type in go run name of my go package and hit enter. Okay, now here you can see it shows before fatal error message, then it shows today's date, then shows the current time I am executing this video, then it shows the message. And then instead of this after fatal message, it directly exit status one. So the message after this is not printed. So you get the idea that whenever your fatal uh, comes or gets locked, any other further print line message doesn't get printed and instead it exits from the program. Okay, so this was a short video on how to generate fatal error message or log in Go programming.